Well, the Detroit Lions having the kind of season they've waited a long time for, in position to win their first division title in 30 years and taking on the Saints in a tie for first in the South, but trying to get their season back on track with an upset win. They're tied with Atlanta after losing in Atlanta last week. While Dan Campbell's Lions have a two and a half game lead clear of Minnesota in the North. Far. You start getting that run game going where Jared Goff excels is play action with throws into the middle of the field. His first throw of the day is off play action and it's Jamison Williams who's starting to come alive. He's got it for a first down beating Paulson Adebo with flat Campbell's Lions 16 and 5 from the start of November last year. Inside the Saints 40. Here's Jameer Gibbs. His first touch of the day. And Gibbs has room. Breaking it to the secondary. Gibbs explodes and makes it first and goal. Another one of those big plays with one of the best big play producers in Gibbs. And it's the bigger running back in Montgomery that comes in here. On first and goal. It is Montgomery. And it's a Detroit Lions touchdown on the first drive. Now they converted third and seven with a run play. And then... It's the blink of an eye later, they're in the end zone. One area, they move the ball very well between the 20s. Looking downfield, first play, coverage tight, and so he checks it down. It's intercepted off of Jawan Johnson's hands into those of Brian Branch. The rookie from Alabama with his second. And a disastrous start for the Saints. You can't get off to a worse start than they have right now. Juwan Johnson's going to end up being the guy where the deflection comes off, stays in, helps out, releases late. He's right there. And in the middle of the field, if you have a deflected pass, nine times out of ten, that thing is going the other direction. And just a great job by Brian Branch right there. Hand to eye, just scoops that with one hand and brings it in. Brian Branch, who had his first interception in the NFL as a pick six in his NFL debut at Arrowhead. Against a Saints defense that was so good early on this season, trying to get back to that. They rushed just four on third and six. Goff lets it rip. A touchdown to Laporta. Two drives, two scores, and a marvelous start to this game for Detroit. I, this is fantastic. I mean, it's just coming right around a post-up situation. There goes Sam Laporta in motion. Demario Davis, watch him jump that route right there. So he comes up on that route. Sam Laporta comes right in behind him. Just opens up that throwing lane for Jared Goff. Said this week, he said, look, every good team goes through a stretch like this, but this is where you define. This is where you find out really what you're made of. Aiden Hutchinson doesn't even let Elvin Kamara get back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring that pass rush opposite Aiden Hutchinson. You watch the, the inactives today. There's a lot of guys that you see on that Detroit team that are on the sideline with new guys getting a shot. Carr throws incomplete. It was intended for A.T. Perry. It was knocked away by Cameron Sutton. And just like that, the punt team comes onto the field. And again, th this is all mistakes by the Saints. I mean, to start this game, Juwan Johnson on the opening drive with the deflection. We saw Alvin Kamara, I mean, with not securing the football and allowing that to be punched out. Right now, they are not matching the energy that Pam talked about, the physicality that they're playing with. 10 from the 46. Goff steps into it. He's got Laporta. Another big play for the rookie tight end down to the 25. He's already got a touchdown, and he's got 29 more yards here. Uh, just some fundamentals here right now for the Saints. I mean, it's just tackling, right? I mean, you've got guys all around there. Jordan Howden's got an opportunity to make that play, and it's yards after the catch. So, well, it's got to be disappointing for Dennis Allen right now. A lot of fundamental things, the small details, are really hurting the Saints. Small details are really hurting the Saints. Out of an empty set. Goff given all day. Over the middle, Amin Ross St. Brown. What a start for Detroit. It's 20 to nothing, less than seven minutes into the game. You can't try to take the football away as the first player to the point of the tackle. You've got to secure it, and then it's the second player that has the opportunity 
to try and take the football away. I don't know what Zach Bond was doing on that play. That is Amon Ra St. Brown. From a, a gimmick, kind of a gadget early on in his time in New Orleans to the best part of their offense. And now Kamara loses two. Jack Campbell there to stop him along with Hutchinson. We've got our first running back. Saints looking for their first first down. They're not going to get it. Car is sacked by Bruce Irvin. In his Lions debut, the 36-year-old showing that he's still got it. Well, this is awesome. You know, a, a guy who expected to get picked up at some point during the season just because of his pass rush ability. You know, 55 sacks, sacks through his career around the edge. I tell you, it, what, what a great pickup. That was November 14th. Be alert for the fake. <laughs> <laughs> I think he learned his lesson on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Fourth and 19. Here it is. A punt. It is a high punt from Fox. Bowden back there sizes it up, makes the grab, and gets spilled. Jalen Reeves Mabin the stop. From the 20 yard line out of the eye. Here comes Montgomery. That offensive line surges forward, paves the way for a first down run of a dozen. Well, you Jack Fox to punt it, almost blocked. Just got it off. Flags down as Bowden takes it at the 25. Yeah, and gets stopped by Jalen Reeves Maben. Yet another special teams tackle for him. It is Taysom Hill, got away from Hutchinson, but then got popped at the line of scrimmage by Jack Campbell, who we've talked about a little bit, getting the bigger opportunity today with Alex Anzalone out, but anybody you talk to says this guy is built for this. And now it's one of those areas where you always have heightened awareness for the fake against Dan Campbell's teams. Jack Fox sends away a good one. Bowden back inside his own 10. Swarmed and stopped. And Jalen Reeves Maven with his fourth special teams tackle today. Second and 16 underneath it's Laporta. Sam Laporta to the 35. Second round pick out of Iowa off to a monster start. When I say monster start, I mean an historically good start to his career as a tight end. And you watch him as a rookie in the NFL at the tight end position. The fluidity that he moves with, how good he is running the entire route tree not the tight end route tree but I think that Ben Johnson is quite comfortable putting him anywhere and asking him to run any route I think it's a big mismatch across the board Hawkeyes could have used him last night on third down pressure coming Goff lets it rip and he's got Laporta again first down to midfield just it it's not running away from people all the time. Sometimes it's the start, stop, change of direction. And, and that's what Sam Laporta did on that play right there to Jordan Howden. It, it's out of the break. Watch 87 at the top. That's great coverage. And just that quickness out of the break. There's no, he doesn't have to tap his feet and, and waste so much time. And out of the two minute warning, a big third and seven play for Ben Johnson in this Lions offense. Goff loads up down the middle, a perfect strike, and it's Amon Ross St. Brown. Got a step on Paulson Adebo, and Goff zipped it through there for 24 yards. Now this is a great throw because this is a real tight window. Amon Ross St. Brown at the top. You've got your safety coming across, trying to make a play on it. Tyron Matthew, confidence right now with Jared Goff. We talked about the middle of the field throws, a lot of that off play action. That was just straight drop back in a really well thrown football. Minute 20, end around, it's Khalif Raymond. Laporta in front, gives him a block. Raymond tried to climb the ladder and Adebo dragged him down. They just got so many different guys they can go to. I mean, Khalif Raymond is a dynamic playmaker and he's like fifth or sixth on the list. <laughs> uh, and I want you to watch right here, Jordan Howard, or Howden right there on the back end. And he's going to get through number 31. He forces Sam Laporta to stop. When that first got out on the edge, look at that. I, that looks like a touchdown. That's going to be a walk-in touchdown. But a great job by Jordan Howden, number 31, kind of getting in there, forcing Sam Laporta to come back and block him. And that allows Paulson Adebo to make the play.
He's a better person. They fake the bubble to Hill and then give it to him, and Hill slips away momentarily, but can't totally pull away from Derek Barnes, who gets the tackle. Both running backs out there for this first down play. Goff looking to throw. Wide open, Laporta! Blown coverage has Sam Laporta racing inside the 15-yard line. 49 yards, big play from Goff to Laporta. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure he's behind the goalpost right there, but you see he runs through linebacker level. Nobody runs with him. You see some man coverage on the back end with somebody who was supposed to have Sam Laporta. Was Nephi Sewell supposed to run with him from that linebacker level? What a day. I mean, what a season. Seven catches, 124 for the rookie tight end. Patterson, who's not missed from this range this year. Keeps it that way and sends this game to the fourth quarter with the Lions 27, the Saints 21. And again, this is a guy they didn't know if they'd have. He had a concussion last Sunday, hardly practice. Ball's on the ground, and the Lions have it. It's a fumbled snap. And it's recovered by Josh Pascal. Unbelievable. Just when everything's going right, this happens. I mean, nobody knows either. I want you to watch. Derek Carr doesn't know. Oh, the, my goodness. How unfortunate guard. is that? Wow. James Hurst pulling from left guard. And I said Pascal had the recovery. He did until Tracy Walker took it from him. We'll see who they give credit to officially. But it's the second turnover of the day for the Saints. End around and a reverse. Here comes Jamison Williams. Explodes to the end zone. Touchdown Detroit. Superman dive for number nine. Shot out of a cannon, Jamison Williams. You're going to have the first one here. Now here comes Jamison Williams around. There's your trailer. That's who's got him in man, Alante Taylor. Really nice job by Graham Glasgow finding his man. You know somebody's being added. They're playing man coverage. You can see as the first player went around with the football in his hand and then pitched it back to Jameson Williams. Look at that dive. Holy cow. Now you know why he's so explosive so fast. That was awesome. Time where Aiden Hutchinson's on the sideline attacking the Hutchinson-less defense. Carr in trouble. And even with Hutchinson not in there, they get home. It's Romeo Okwara with the sack. And then the teams come together, some pushing and shoving after the play. They're trying to find somebody on the other side of the field opposite Hutchinson. How about while he's getting a break, you still get a sack. A great sign for the Lions. I think the big thing is that that's a coverage sack because it takes forever. Now this all starts. Jamal Williams has just a fantastic pass protection right there. That, that's what started everything. And then it's going inside with Romeo Okwara getting the sack. And around on the first play, it's Bowden in trouble and swarmed in the backfield. Quentin Bohanna, a big loss. You mentioned the day that Jalen Reeves Maven is having on special teams, but watch him on this one. He's the one that disrupts everything. I mean, that's just a clear shot. He's the one that cuts off Lynn Bowden and allows Quentin Bohanna to get up there and make the play. Bohanna, who's just getting his first chance with the Lions recently, former Dallas Cowboys, made an impact in his few games. But to your point, Joe, why do you get tricky down there in that 32 situation? On third and eight, Goff delivers, and it's Laporta! Where there's been a need, there's been Sam Laporta. Another monster day for the rookie tight end, and a first down for the Lions. Just a great job coming out of the inside of that bunch. You've got inside or outside leverage, so he's getting a little bit of help from the safety that's in the middle of the field. Jordan Howden lets him get inside. Just a great completion right there. Do you consider letting Goff throw it? They will. 
Off play action. He's flush. He's hit. He got rid of it for a first down. Jared Goff with the play of the day, finding Jess Reynolds. It's Reynolds' first reception, and it could not be any bigger. What a great job with the sell. I, I want you to watch how he sells this. The patience, right? It's like it's going to be a run play, and then he just snaps and pulls away from Elante Taylor. It's, it's so fun to watch guys who understand the detail of plays. And, and when it there's a, a kind of that, that framework in your mind where, hey, I, I got to be there quick. I got to get over there. There's a lot of plays designed like that where the patience is what creates the separation for you. It's the third down backbreaker from Jared Goff to Josh Reynolds. And Dan Campbell in his return to New Orleans is going to get his Lions to 9-3, and three, the second best record in the NFC. Best record through 12 games since 1962 in this you know, this season, depending on the lens you look through it, it's either magical or it's, boy, there's stuff to worry about right now. But, I mean, this is turning into one that they have waited a long time to have. You're going to grow the lead in the division to three games. Getting closer and closer to their first division title in three decades. And Dan Campbell's team dreaming bigger than that. 33-28 the final score. They survive really an incredible effort from the Saints who trailed this game 21-0 in the blink of an eye. They come back and fall just short. 33-28.